Hey Judy. Why don't you come out here? I'm not used to talking to nobody just yet. Can you be like a production assistant? How do I do that? Just stand there. Just be moral support. All right. Hello, everybody. Um, I went on Twitter and asked you guys what you wanted to see a, a quick thrown together video of. It was between my Japanese music stuff in general and my IU stuff specifically. And the IU stuff won by a lot. This is gonna be just highlights of my collection though because if I went through all of my collection the video would take a week to film. So I'm gonna go ahead and start here. You see I got this Ayupon set thing here. I do not have a very big Ayupon collection so I'm just kind of getting that out of the way now because there are some of you folks out there you guys are really cool. You got way bigger iPhone collections than I do. This does not fit on a shelf. This thing is the bane of my existence. I have never, ever been able to put it anywhere. I used to have a picture rail on the wall up above the rest of my collection where I could put this and a couple of other things. Um, but one time a bunch of the stuff fell off that picture rail just kind of randomly, like it leaned forward and just fell off the wall. So I've been kind of reluctant to put the picture rail up at the new place. The Urayu photo book was such a big deal back in 2002. I remember it being just like, oh my god, Ayu looks like that in this picture! It's so cool! I use Digi Digi Diary, all of her columns from Vivi, the photos and text like reprinted in it. For those of you who haven't seen the inside of this book, this is probably interesting, but for most of you it's probably like, what the hell are you doing? So another random thing that's not sitting on a shelf right now because it's out of season is the first Ayupon Christmas box, there were three of them released in 2002, 2003, and 2004 that you had to get from the Ayupon shop online. It comes with like a drink tumbler and a puzzle and a CD-ROM with a screensaver on it and I can't run the screensaver because I need a computer that runs on 32-bit architecture to do that. Screensaver is lost to the ages. <laughs> so it took me literally years of looking at Yahoo Auctions Japan uh, to find this phone strap for a reasonable price and I think in the end I ended up buying it from I, I don't know if I should use your real name or not friend in Germany you know who you are I don't know if I should say your like screen name right now or um, or your real name so hi I bought a lot of things from you thank you I wanted this phone strap for so long and by the time I got it I was just kind of like I'm not putting this on my phone hi I'm here too they know that already because at this point in the video I've left a bunch of stuff in. So I've got two like partitioned boxes from Ikea that just have random little stuff in them. Like the um, the Team IU little random bonus things that they would just send to you back when Team IU was worth being a member of. Um, I really love all the misunderstood concert merchandise. I really like this keychain. I actually had it on a key that opened my filing cabinet for a while but then like I lost that key for a little while and I kind of freaked out because I was missing my keychain. More misunderstood stuff. I like red and black stuff. So I was very happy with all the 10th anniversary stuff also because it was red and black. Current tour merchandise? Red and black. Did I buy a lot? Yeah. You know what else is red and black? The IU Mix box set! Which um, I was the only person to rip mp3s of and it took like more than 10 years after its release for me to do that. For anybody to do that. Understandable because this is almost always going for about $200 and um, shipping from Japan to America for 13 vinyl records in a thick box is a lot of money. The set came with a phone strap in it's in a plastic bag. It comes with this it says postcard style photo book which is basically this is a bunch of square cards in a jewel case with no tray basically you can kind of see that there's you know a gap here you open it up like it's it's a jewel case and it's got all these picture cards in it from the photo shoots for all of her first singles and the a song for album this is the creepiest thing ever these eyes are cutouts and when you open it up there's like turntable records there and it's kind of horrifying um but it's it's neat looking and then you open it and you're like oh nightmare fuel so that's fun at the end of 2001 or beginning i think it was the beginning of 2002 it was around the time i am came out iu did a promotion with mr donut 
um, which was a brand that existed in the United States at least when I was a kid, but I haven't heard about it in the United States in a long time, so I don't know if it still does. And you could get something called an IU Combo, which was, you know, a, two donuts in this box, which actually normally has a handle, but the person I bought it from didn't, didn't send me the damn handle. It's got a Velcro closure on this side of it, so you open it up with the Velcro there. Inside are a set of three metal coasters, one with Mr. Donut IU Combo text on it, and then the Mr. and Miss Donut IU characters, because she played one female character and one male character in the commercials, the TV commercials for this. Another jewel case style case, it's like a weird, it kind of looks like, um, like a European single, but it's a square instead of coming out further. The Sweet Shots photo book that comes in it has, first of all, this um, like lenticular thing in here. There's the male and female eye characters from the TV commercial, and it's it's neat. It comes with a little donut shaped photo book of the making of the commercial or the narrative of the commercial. So you can see like, are you about to come into the Mr. Donut location and all that stuff. It only focuses on the version of the commercial with the female version of the character, um, which by the way ends like this. There's donut around the frame of the commercial and then uh, she takes the donut off the camera. And uh, so that's what they did in the photo book also, which is kind of cute. And the box has a cutout hole on one side so you can see the photo book case thing inside it. During I used 2008 tour, she released a music box of the marionette stage performance. There's dust on this. Um, the logo on the front of this has really kind of come like off in a lot of places and it's kind of upsetting because I tried to, to do some gluing to fix it and it's just I all I all I really succeeded in doing was just destroying it. So but when I saw the little promo video for this I just fell so completely in love with it. I love it so much because you turn it and it, it plays a little bit of the song Marionette. Younger, I would yell, always ask you if I could start playing it, but you always told me no because that was whenever the logo yeah. started coming off. Yeah. So I never got to spin it and it always got sad. Aww. Don't worry, I'm okay. <laughs> this one part is actually making me very happy. Ayu was the uh, official spokesperson for Tuka Cell Phones, um, and uh, her first EasyWeb campaign had her in this kind of like futuristic princess sort of outfit and one thing that they did was this giveaway where you could get um either a cell phone case or a set of fingernail like fake nails i did manage to get one of the 500 sets in existence of the of the nails and they're in this really cool like display box that has an a logo on top I just think it's really, really kind of like, ooh, it's so classy. And the box slides out like it's jewelry or something. And uh, yeah, there's the, the set of nails, the Tuca brand collaboration nail set. Random A Best shopping bag from Shinsado. When A Best was released, they did a giveaway thing where everybody who bought the album got a poster, or everybody who entered the giveaway got a poster, but you could also win a uh, one of three different like stationary items that they had. The, the big rare special awesome cool one was this stationary box that had it was a black box with the A logo on the front of it. My particular one does not have the lid attached. I don't know why the person I bought it from had had cut the lid off at some point. What it came with was um one was a sticker set, diary pages, the ringbound notebook itself. Okay. Like that. A sparkly clear like plastic file thing and a couple of clear plastic files. There's a pink one and a black one so together they kind of look blink. um and you can see it's blink. got the sure let's go with that. We'll say it's blink. And it's got the same kind of Louis Vuitton-esque pattern from the reissue singles also because the reissue singles had come out a, just a month before A Best. The wait for A Best was so much fun, just like that was just a fun time to be a fan. So great. 
I'm gonna get all nostalgic and sad because I miss when I use marketing people knew what they were doing. Or plaque. That's completely off topic now. But this <laughs> is probably one of my favorite things that I own in the entire universe. of course something that I daydreamed about one day having um, when I had my first like Nokia 3310 or something like that I put a leopard print style case on it and I programmed in because you had to manually program in ringtones to make like meaty versions of the songs I put I think trust because that just makes for a really really good ringtone but I, I finally got an actual a model phone I've got the cool phone strap and the a logo on the back. Such a phone. Mini leopard print. Wow. Wow. I've got the manual for the phone that this is based on and then there's kind of like an addendum that they put in there for all the stuff that's different like the additional ringtones that are available and things like that. It's got like the, the charging stand and the charger but here's the thing when I ordered this it was still very much illegal to ship batteries in the mail from Japan so there's no battery in it. I can't actually access the phone menu to look at like the wallpapers and the ringtones and stuff which oh, is... No! I know it is very sad but it is what it is I'm just happy that I have it the person that I bought this from included with it for no extra charge it was just part of the package this display stand for it which is how I display it on my shelf most of the time as I put it in there and um, I have seen auctions for just this stand and it's like twice as much as the phone <laughs> so I got a really good deal on this Concert fans! This is the only light up one that I've got for some reason. I made a shadow box of some Concert Tour 2000 stuff. These phone straps in the middle are kind of a funny story. I got those back in like 2008, but I was broke after a while and I had to literally sell my entire IU collection up to that point. I sold these to somebody who was putting it on their own store site to sell to somebody else. I want to say like four years later, I bought them from that site. I bought my own phone straps back for twice as much as I originally paid for them. Another Concert Tour 2000 thing. The precursor to the IU is this IU figure that's based on Tadashi Oda's artwork of IU from the Concert Tour 2000 pamphlets. Judels wanted to make sure that I show you guys this uh, one, yay, red and black stuff, um, because the, the Asia Tour 2008 like Asia leg of the tour had a whole bunch of red and black IUPON stuff that wasn't available for the rest of the tour. One of those things were the A logo shaped rubber bands. One of the reasons I put them in this shadow box, even though it makes the whole thing bulge out, like this does not fit properly. <laughs> the, the back of this is popping out too much. Um, is because my daughter kept stealing rubber bands out of it <laughs> and um, you know, wearing them around her wrist and stuff like that. She, she loved the things. At some point, maybe I'll get like another set of them or, or something, but yeah but also stickers and phone strap and oil film control sheets. I had an extra set of those and I gave them to my husband when we met because he had bad skin. I am sorry. I love my husband. I shouldn't embarrass him like that in public. The bookmark on the bottom, which had to be sideways because Tetris. I love those, what are they called? Rubber bands. I really love them. That's why I guess I requested to I these. literally said that first thing when I started Oh, you did? Them. Yeah. My bad. You never listen. I'm so this bad. This is gonna take a thousand years to edit. <laughs>